In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate conveyors capabilities for converting Revit elements and their properties over into Rhino. I will also demonstrate how it's possible to update those Revit elements after they've been brought into Rhino. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Proving Ground tab, which is where the conveyor utilities live. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the Rhino Inside integration. I've already started Rhino Inside, so at this point, all I need to do is open the Rhino user interface. After I've opened the Rhino user interface, you can see that I have a blank Rhino model. And then right now I need to activate the conveyor tool. So I'm going to type in conveyor and I'm going to go ahead and choose my units. And I'm going to dock the conveyor utility off to the side here. So this particular tutorial is going to make use of Rhino Revit Direct. So I'm going to go ahead and expand Rhino Revit Direct. And I'm mostly going to be using the get from Revit command. So what I want to do is I want to go over into Revit and select a few objects to bring over into Rhino. So I'm going to go ahead and locate a few rooms, um, a few doors and windows. Um, maybe I'll start with a couple of these walls here. I'm going to go ahead and select on some of these wall objects. And I'm also going to select a few of these doors here. And at this point, what I can do is simply go over into Rhino and choose Get from Revit. And what this is going to do is conveyor is going to build up the geometry of the selected objects and have them represented inside of Rhino. So now we have a selection of objects representing walls and doors. And what's new about this capability as well is that these objects will have inherited the Revit properties for these objects. So not only do we have geometry for reference, if I click on my wall and I go over into Rhino's default object properties, you can see that there is an attribute user text section. This wall object will have inherited the Revit properties that are available inside of, of Revit. So I can find, for example, um, offsets, unique identifiers, I can see lengths um, and areas. Um, all of those properties have been migrated across. So if I wanted to use these properties for different purposes inside of Rhino, they're available here for reference. So if I, for example, if I select this wall versus this wall, or if I choose this door, you'll see that those properties are uh, available there. Um, another kind of cool thing about this integration is that uh, Conveyor will also allow me to update these objects if a change has happened inside of the Revit environment. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and move this wall up a little bit. Um, and maybe I'll also kind of move this door off to the side um, and flip the direction there, although that won't matter. Um, but now that I've made those changes, I can go over into the Rhino environment and under Rhino Revit Direct and Conveyor, I can choose to refresh all of the Revit elements. And what it's going to do is it's going to find objects that have been imported and refresh those objects to make sure they're in sync with the Revit environment. So this becomes a really powerful way to keep your Rhino and Revit files coordinated with each other, um, especially if I'm building stuff in Rhino that depends on having some of this reference geometry. Um, for the purposes of demonstration, I'm also going to select some of these rooms here, as those rooms can sometimes be important uh, elements to coordinate. Uh, you might be bringing rooms over for analysis, or you might just need overall volumes for reference in Rhino. So I'm going to go ahead and get those objects in from Revit as well. Um, and that's going to construct the overall volume of those rooms in 3D uh, for use inside of Rhino. And you can see that those room properties have also been brought over uh, for review as Rhino user text. And those are, again, available under um, the object properties. So hopefully this was a useful overview of this capability. I think it's really uh, powerful to be able to bring objects from Revit into Rhino and do so in a simple way that Conveyor enables through this um, Rhino Inside integration.